And likewise, we also see the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala manifest through such tribulations, such that there is nothing that is able to oppose the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when such tribulations manifest. They manifest how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides for them to manifest and when he wants them to manifest. And always in the midst of tribulation, we always understand what is the ultimate purpose of the tri of tribulation, which is to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as an example, we see that in the, in the great tribulation of the Antichrist, that the purpose is to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through his remembrance and through the recitation of the beginnings of Surah Al-Kahf and the ends of Surah Al-Kahf. مثلا عندما يحاصر الدجال المسلمين في آخر الزمان في بيت المقدس حصارا شديدا لا يجدون الطعام فليس لهم مخرج بعد ذلك إلا الالتزاء الله يجتمعون ويدعون الله ويصلون آخر الليل فينزل تأييد سيدنا عيسى بن مريم فيفرج الله عنهم like we see the example at the end of time when the Antichrist, when he surrounds um, Jerusalem within which is, is the, are the people of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they find that they're prevented from food and they're prevented from drink, that the only sort of way out for them is to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and gathering thereupon and likewise praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the midst of the night such that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala thereby supports them through the manifestation of the Son of Mary alayhi salam. <laughs> تصيب الأرض ولا تصيب الناس في مرحلة يجوج ومجوج عندما تكتسح تلك المخلوقات الأرض كلها حتى النبي عيسى عليه السلام يذهب هو المسلمون في شعب الطور وفي جبل الطور لا يجدون قوة مهما أعطاهم الله من القوة الظاهرة آخر شيء فقط الدعاء يذهب المسلمون إلى سيدنا عيسى ويقول أنت ادعو الله لم نقدر على أي شيء الآن فيدعو الله سبحانه وتعالى ويرغب إلى الله في الدعاء يعني يلح إلى الله عز وجل في الدعاء فبعد الدعاء الكثير هذا يأتي تيد الله عز وجل ويرسل عليهم المرض فيصبحون كلهم أموات فنلاحظ الالتجاء إلى الله في الشدة وعند الفتن هو المخرج الوحيد لكل الحالات تقريبا مع القيام بالأسباب بعد ذلك حسب المستطاع Likewise, we also see with Gog and Magog at the end of time, likewise, when we see mass slaughter occur upon the, the face of planet Earth, that there's no human being, even the Son of Mary, alayhi salam, Jesus, the Son of Mary, who are able to oppose the manifestation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's power through Gog and Magog. And so the only way out they have is to return back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for dua, upon which they address the Son of Mary, alayhi salam, with that he should return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through calling upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's on the basis of that that Allah subhanahu and he gives them a way out and manifests his succor subhanahu wa ta'ala. So then, these fitan, all of them, we saw the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or we saw something from the power of Allah Azza wa Jal in the creation of it. So there is a power في إيجاد هذه الفتن كما أخبر النبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. And so thereby with all of these tribulations we begin to understand the wisdoms of Allah subhanahu wa taala as to why He brings tribulations about which is returned back to Him and this is what we see manifest on the on the tongue of the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم. لذلك ورد في بعض الأخبار أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وسلم قال لا تكره الفتن فأن فيها حصاد المنافقين المنافق والأشرار يدخلون في الفتن المسلم يبعد من تلك الفتن فيحصد المنافقون الذين يكونون سببا لعدم اظهار الخير والرحمه للناس. And so the Prophet صلى الله عليه وصحبه وسلم he said do not um, dislike tribulation because in tribulation we see um, the, the envy of the of the disbelievers يعني, um, manifest the Prophet صلى الله عليه